So I think that there's some catalytic events going on right now. So first of all, Southeast Asia has a significant set of demographic tailwinds. It is a young area with growing populations and an emerging middle class. And I think that that makes it very appealing. Uh, I think that the other thing that makes it appealing is the geopolitical situation, which has resulted in the People's Republic of China becoming more unfriendly to foreign business, has meant that the center of commerce there is up for grabs. So hitherto, most companies would locate themselves in Hong Kong because, or possibly even Shanghai, but primarily Hong Kong. And that's because it offered uh, British rule of law, it offered support for capitalism, it offered all these different things that made it easy for them to locate their Asian headquarters there or to expand outwards from there. With the policies of the PRC generally closing down that economy, closing down the opportunities for foreign investors in China, there now is a vacuum. And part of that vacuum is being filled by Singapore, which offers many of the same characteristics of Hong Kong, albeit without the proximity to the China market, and with perhaps even greater rule of law than Hong Kong ever had. But Singapore is enormously expensive, and it's a very small place, and you can only grow so much there. So I think that the spillover effect means that there will be more growth available for the Bangkoks, the Jakartas, the uh, uh, Vietnams and Cambodias of the world. And the interesting question is which one is going to be best positioned to do this? I think that Indonesia is obviously the largest country by population. So that's interesting, but it presents a series of challenges in the sense it's an archipelago, logistics are difficult, et cetera, et cetera. But isn't there... Isn't there I guess, regulatory policy a little bit challenging as well. Yes, exactly. 